Hello everybody, my name is Rolak and welcome back to Kirby Triple Deluxe. In the last episode, we ventured further into the wild world, completing up these last three stages up to the boss. And in today's episode, we are going to be tackling the bonus stage, as well as facing off the boss when it gets to it. Because what else are we going to be doing? I mean, it's pretty obvious at this point. Ow. Okay. Um... Nah. Could be pretty helpful with this, with these things here, but I think we'll be fine just on our own. Well, these, however, will not be. Okay. Uh, whoop. Whoop. Eh. Whoa, okay. Um, okay, let's head up here. No, that's actually just for a little safe spot. Uh, oh, ooh, hammer! That's an interesting thing just to give us. I'll certainly take it. I'm not complaining about getting hammer. Hell, I might carry it off into the boss. Ah, I see. So we have something for underwater. Oh, Jesus. Better to use underwater than the hammer. I can know these guys going to be coming in from the background into the foreground. It's a tad bit annoying. Definitely gonna try and not be hit by them because if we do, that might get overly a bit annoying. Thankfully, they don't seem to be covering up the entirety of the area, just the middle of it. Mm. Okay. Ah, uh, back into haunted house. Okay, and a truth mirror. Great. Take you out. Go ahead. Whoa. Out of my way, please. Thank you. Ah, damn it. Okay. <laughs> Taking a lot of unnecessary hits here. <laughs> Head down here. It's a fake wall. Grab the meat. Avoid. Ow. Right. Invisible. Fake, I should say. Oh, that's also a fake. Good lord. <laughs> Should be it. Nope. No, one more. Okay. Anything down here? Okay. I think this is the way we need to go. I'm just gonna double check to be absolutely certain. Uh. Well, there are stars up here. Oh, there's the chest. This is a fake wall. So let's hit that. Okay. Good. Thank God I explored. I'm pretty sure this is the first sunstone. Nope. It's just just a one-up. Fantastic. I'm glad I wasted time. It's fine. <laughs> I mean, I'm not like in a rush or anything. Ow. Okay. Ah, this song. This one is, I'm pretty sure it's from Return to Dreamland. Specifically in one of the levels in Egg Engines. I know because I've played that game a lot. Uh, and I remember what we have to do here. We just have to keep running towards the end because these keys are going to fall down to a pit if we don't get over there fast enough. Ow! No! No! Oh! Ho 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 No, 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 no. Come on! Let's go! Oh, Jesus. Okay, that was close. And thank God they're all coming along. Lord. Uh, it's not Sunstone, but it is the rare keychain, which is, you know, not as important as you would think it would be. I mean, it's the only keychains I'm going to be bothering collecting, so that's good. Enjoy more of this guy. Oh, this looks like a complete clusterfuck. Jesus. Well, no, I'm not going to do a slide. Okay. Uh. Door. What do we got? Oh, boy. No. Oh, God. What? Okay, what the hell do we do with this one? Okay, I remember. It's, we got to get the one in the middle lit first. Come on. There we go. 
Gotta get the one in the middle lit. Then we can't get the swirly one all lit up as well. Nope. Yeah, my. Nope. Oh, right. And there we go. Come on. Hurry it up. There we go. And that's our first sunstone, hopefully. Unless we skip the first one somehow. No, we didn't. Okay. Alright, back to the fray. Ah! Why am I way back here? Oh, wait, no, this isn't the same spot as last time. Okay. Just a tad bit confusing looking. Ooh, some food and a keychain over there. Grab that. Before exiting. Even though we're basically fighting through bloody hell here. Like, good lord. Ah! I pressed B! I know this controller isn't going soft on me. It's not that old. Okay, uh, I'm gonna keep hammer. Just because you know it's hammer, so, yeah. Sorry if you find my logic a bit odd to understand, but, I mean, it makes sense to me. Uh, what are we gonna be fighting anyway? Watch it be bonkers. It's gonna be hilarious if it's bonkers. It is bonkers! <laughs> Honestly, did not fully expect that to actually be bonkers. <laughs> that's hilarious. Okay, now that spin attack is actually really deceptive, because if you do get hit by it, you're going to get flung around like a, like crazy. I mean, we already got hammer, so we'll just keep that. Die! Good lord! Thankfully, when a boss is down, when a mini boss is down, you don't take any damage from its corpse. God, that's pretty morbid when, you, when I say it like that, good lord. But yeah, you don't take any damage when the boss is down and ready to be inhaled. Alright. That's the last proper level for Wild World done. On to the goal game. No! Eh. Oh, the streak is ruined. Oh well, what can you do? Alright, what do we got? Gator from Superstar Ultra. Storo from Squeak Squad. The Boss Butch from Dreamland 3, even though I think it should be Bunch. I don't know. My Butch. That doesn't. It must. I, it's either a typo or I'm just nitpicky. And a Bronto Burt. Alright. That's all the Sunstones in Wild World done and collected, except for the big one from the boss. So, let's go ahead and take it. And there's our kidnapper getting away with DDD once more. I, I know DDD's probably heavy, but I feel like you could just, you know, fly up to the top. Um, you know what? Hammer might be a bit too powerful, so we'll take Archer. Say hello to Coily Rattler. A big ol' rock snake. He's got a few attacks right here where he's gonna be shooting off some fiery blocks at us. Now then, the only spot you can damage Coily Rattler is the head. Every other spot will deal no damage to him. Such so. Well. See, no damage. He's gonna be doing this attack where he's gonna fall on you and do a little spin attack. Whoop, that's not what I wanted to do. Go for some hits. I'm not meaning to do the dash attack. Ow, that did a lot of damage for being blocked. Holy crap. On um, phase two. Okay, you were done doing your little intro thing, so I don't know why that did as much damage. Okay, for this attack, I'm going to go ahead and spin around and shoot him off his little, several of his pieces. I'm going to be falling onto the stage, so just dodge out of the way. His head's going to fall down and get stuck for a bit. And he's going to be doing this spin attack where he is completely invulnerable. Even though you're able to hit him, you are unable to hit his head for whatever reason. Now he's got this attack where he's going to be sneaking up. Whoa! Oh! Okay. 
If you do not dodge that, he will take you for a ride and deal an immense amount of damage. Okay, that was weird. I don't know. I also don't know what's with the charging of Archer sometimes. It certainly feels like I should be able to charge it, but it just doesn't want to work sometimes. And there we go. Honestly, a really fun boss fight. It's one of my more favorites for this game. Proceeded to the fifth floating island, Endless Explosions. This is our fire world for this game. And I'm not going to enjoy it because I don't like fire worlds. I find them annoying. For various reasons. Some that I do not believe I have to explain. Ow. That's my fault. I was <laughs> just looking at my phone. See where the... Ow, oh, for cuts. Really? Oh, wait. We need Parasol. Which we're not going to get because... No, wait, he's going to come over here. There we go. Because Parasol, for some reason, shoots off a little bit of water when you do its basic attacks. Which I guess makes a little bit of sense. Uh, it's just a bit weird. Nope, oh, burger. Alright. Okay, we're not going to be getting the rare keychain up until the third sunstone, so that's good to know. Oh boy, more gondola stuff. Yeah. I mean, we don't even really have to be on this. Oh, actually, we do for the key. That makes sense. Reset the tilt. Come on. There we go. Avoid the... Cool! That's totally what I wanted to have happen. Like, I get it's an emulator, and you don't have, you know, perfect, like, gyro control for a fucking mouse click. But I feel like you can still respond to my movements a bit more. Like, what is going on? There we go. Nope. Jesus. Ooh, hello. There's the first on stone. Which I don't even really think you need the fitzball candy to get, but whatever. Still works. Honestly, don't need it. <laughs> I will take Leaf, though, just for the hell of it. Because I'm pretty sure we can just run into this guy and just kill him. Yeah. And I'm going to take Ice, because this is actually going to be helpful in this level. Yeah, quick fight. <laughs> okay, it's one of these. Like the snake blocks from uh, Mario. Or whatever you want to call them. I hated those levels. It's more like the worst. This one is not as needlessly complicated because they just are just platforms that just, you know, move along. Okay, so, oh yeah, with Skate, we can just take down the blocks, no problem. Then we can just use our Ice Breath to take down the blocks, and there we go. Yeah, I... Honestly, you don't expect it to be like that because there's never, there's almost never a chance where you actually uh, skate across like lava blocks or fire blocks because they're almost always just. Ooh, hello, wheel. They're almost always just like just obstacles for you to take out with those abilities and not just to run along with them. Okay, we're gonna be racing this guy down to the bottom, so we gotta be careful to actually dodge out of the way of everything. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Nope, come on. There we go. Alright. That was a good run. Uh, ah, okay. And the keychain's up there. See that odd block up there? If 
thankfully Wheel is able to just fight through lava like that. Oh, this is the background of the first segment. Oh. And the keychain is right here. As well as a cannon that I assume will bring us to where we need to go. Yes, indeed it does. Okay. Now, probably should have taken... Yeah, I'm going to take sword. Just because I don't... I keep saying it. Wheel is not a good offensive ability. It's fun, you know, to go around and, you know, be a wheel and stuff like that. But it's not a good offensive weapon <laughs> to use. I mean, it's the end of the level anyway. We're probably going to be getting a new ability soon anyway. There we go. Well, new as in, you know, a different one. I think we've actually gone over all the abilities in the game. We've gone over all the new ones. Bell, Archer, Beetle, and Circus. And I think we've acquired all the basic ones. Yeah, I think we're... I think we've actually collected every... Or, acquired. Gone over every, uh... Ability. Creeper's Venture. Skull Lord from Mass Attack. I don't know who this guy is. I don't think he's the final boss. Ice Dragon from Dreamland 2. Alright, on to the next level. How many levels are in this? How many stages are in this world? Uh, six. Same as the last one. Yeah, plus a bonus one. Oh god, there's a lot of stones in these ones. I have a feeling, I think this one's going to be a hypernova level. I can just feel it. Spear guy there, we'll ignore him for now. Okay, yeah, it does seem like that when you when you throw this high mom, it does seem like it just you know starts to go faster because it makes sense. Okay, so we actually need to find Ninja because surprisingly, there it is. Ninja is actually going to be surprisingly helpful for us here because of Ninja's weird uh, stealth water thing here. We're going to be able to break some blocks. We just got to be careful not to get hit and lose it. There we go. Right here. Let's get rid of those blocks. And there's the keychain. Simple as that. Now to focus on the actually important collectibles. Hopefully I hadn't missed any. Get away, please. <laughs> okay, well, there's one sunstone. Hopefully it's the first one. If it's not, I'm going to be very disappointed in myself. These guys. I really honestly can't stand those guys. They're extremely annoying. But thankfully they're easy enough to dodge, so there's that. First sunstone, yes. Okay, good. Apparently flying doesn't increase the rate at which you go up in this game. I certainly did so for previous games. I know that for certain. Anything else? Nope, doesn't seem like it. Alright, moving on. Okay, I don't know how attentive we have to be for this, like, location, but... Okay, well, there's Cutter. I don't think I'll grab that circus. Definitely not. Keychain, I'll grab that, though. Alright, on where we go. Ninja is just a better damage dealing tool than Cutter. Like so. Grab stone. Don't think we'll be needing it, but it's a good idea just to grab it just in case. Ugh. I guess no, we definitely need stone, because I remember there's a there's a peg we need to grab. Or what the hell did I even say? There's a peg we need to crush. Damn it! Okay, thankfully there's a rocky up here, so that's good. Oh, <laughs> get away from me. Eh. Uh, is it down? Nope, I think it's down here. Yes, there it is. All right. Now, what do we got in this room? Is it another stone thing? Oh, right, this. Come on. No, come on. It was right there. Ah. Okay, so jump immediately. Because otherwise, it's not going to work out. 
Coincidentally, this might just be better for Hammer, because you could probably just, you know, pound all the pegs without it having to, uh, what's the word? What is the word I'm trying to find? Oh, we actually have to activate it. Whoops. <laughs> okay, take three. So we gotta activate it, but we gotta toss it immediately. There we go. Here's the pegs. Take down these. Come on. There we go. Okay. Crisis averted. <laughs> and this should take us where we need to be. Next room, perhaps? Indeed it does. Alright, that's really good. And one more Miracle Fruit section. Or Hypernova section. I think we're going to be getting another one, like, two levels ahead. So, that's fun. Take it off the cork. Cause this Waddle Dee to have the worst day of his life. Inhale these blocks. And spit it out. This should one up. Okay. Moving onward. Okay, now we can take care of these guys. They'll bite their tongue, and we pull their tongue. And, uh, yeah. The fucking struggling as he's sucking them up is so fucking terrifying. Like, Jesus. Like, people keep thinking that, like, oh, Kirby games, oh, it's just like a funny guy he eats, you know, food and stuff. He, like, inhales enemies. But the inhaling part is probably the most terrifying part about these games. Because this guy is in agony and is probably terrified. <laughs> the tail thrashing is very evident of such. These guys are essentially being sucked into a black hole. They're being spaghettified. <laughs> that was a term, right? Spaghettification? Yeah, it's just, uh... It's not great. Can't imagine it's a great experience for them. And for these baldies, look at them. Trying so desperately to hold on, only to be sucked into a black void of nothingness. Or, it's a pocket dimension. The inside of Kirby is a pocket dimension, and they're being sucked away into some hell. Well, they'll never escape. Kind of like purgatory, almost. Does it actually say anything about that? Comes a vertible black hole, allowing a male giant object. Yeah, no, that's not really, you know, exactly what I was hoping for. But yeah, Kirby... I, it's not a discussion that I have to make. It's pretty, like, a standard thing. Okay, that shouldn't hurt me. Shit the tail. Okay, um... Yep, come here, you. No, this guy's... Nope, it's not this guy. It's a bit deceptive. Interesting. We actually need to pull back for that. Okay. Like, I could do without the flailing. Okay, hit the switch, head back, and there we go. Get back up, there we go. That's all the sunstones collected for this level. But of course, we're not just done with it just yet, because we're going to have another mini-boss fight thing. Yeah, this guy's the deceptive one. He goes a long way. There we go, all right. Now, I don't remember which one is actually the mini boss. The dragons, is it? I don't think it's the dragons. Okay. Oh, wait, no, we gotta hit the bomb block over here. All right. Is this the last segment? I think it is. This one poor Waddle Dee. Oh, I know, the Waddle Dee's just gonna pull up the entire exit. This guy's fighting for his life. But in doing so, he manages to uproot structure that was embedded in magma, which is very impressive. It's a shame he is now in eternal torment. <laughs> such is the way, such is the fate of all who oppose Kirby. Or not even oppose, that Waddle Dee wasn't doing anything. He was just unfortunately in the path of Kirby. That is the fate of those who unfortunately, if they're not friends, Come into contact with Kirby. That's how things work here. Nightmare's Power Orb from Kirby's Adventure. Helmy from Mass Attack. Floating Kirby from Dreamland. All right. I just realized we're over 25 minutes. All right. Uh, that's going to do it for today's episode. Next time on Kirby Triple Deluxe, we're going to head deeper into Endless Explosions. 
I think we're on, I think, I notice we're on a path here. We do the bonus stage and then the boss, and then we do three stages in the next episode. That's always how it's kind of been. Really odd. Anyway, next time on Triple Deluxe, we're going to head deeper into Endless Explosions, get more of the stages done. Maybe we'll get to the boss. Who knows? We'll see. See you guys next time.